Today we are going to create our own gyo taku. Gyo means fish and taku means impression or a fish print. In Japan, they did this to record their trophy catches. First, we're going to take a little bit of black paint and spread it like peanut butter and jelly all around the fish. Make sure you have a thin layer of paint. You don't want any globs or goops on there. You just want it to be spread out pretty thinly. So make sure there's no puddles of paint. Then, after we paint the fish, we are going to take a piece of paper and lay it very gently on top. This paper is super thin in order to get all of the details. So be really careful with it when you put this piece of paper on top of your fish because it tears quite easily. So we're taking our paper and we're gently and carefully placing it onto the fish. Then you can gently press it down with your fingers so that you get all of the nice details. And then you're going to take one of these sponges and gently press down with the sponge so that you can get even more of those awesome details in the fins and the scales. Then you're going to carefully peel it off and voila, you have your Gyutaku fish print. Then you're going to leave your fish on the placemat for somebody else to print it. After you print your fish, you're going to grab a red marker and you are going to be careful not to smudge and smear your paint. Then you can make a box or a square as a border and then write your initials. Be creative in how you design your initials. This is how in Japan they would sign their work is usually it would be a stamp and then they would press their stamp down in the corner of the page usually with red ink. When you're ready to clean up you are going to grab your paper plate with the black paint and you're going to bring it to the sink where you can put your paintbrush hair down in the wash brush bucket. Then you're going to take your paper plate itself and you're going to throw it in the garbage can by either of the two art room doors.